Okay, hello and welcome to my tutorial on uh, how to use the TI-30 calculator, the green scientific calculator, and how to use its stats function to do bivariate data analysis. Okay, so uh, if you haven't found my original video, uh, I will link it in the description below, but this is just a supplement to, to that video, how to use the calculator to get our stats. Okay, so first step you need is uh, to clear your calculator's memory. Okay, there's a few ways you can do that. You can hit second function and then the zero button, which you can see says reset above it. Hit that button and then hit number two for yes, and it will clear your memory. Uh, you could also take a pen and poke this little spot here, and that will also do it for you. Okay, so either way, you need your memory cleared. Okay, now what we are going to do is enter this data here into our uh, calculators, into its database. So there's a button here that says data, so we're going to press that. And what it will do is bring up two column, a two column table. There we go. So you can see it says L1, L2, L3. We only need two of those, L1 and L2. Now, in the first column, L1 is where you should put your explanatory variable and L2 is where you'll put your response variable, okay? You can, if you accidentally put them the wrong way around, you can fix it later, but it's just good practice to do it that way. Okay, so we're just going to start typing these in. So five, enter, 0.75, enter, 2.5, enter, and keep going like that. There we go. Arrow across to your next column and start entering in the response variable. 62, plus, enter. 48, enter, etc. And there you go. Now it's important that you make sure these stay paired and just make sure you check that you have finished in the same spot. Okay, that's a surefire way to know if you've missed a piece of data or if they don't match up. Okay, so now to access the stats, we press second function and then that same button, you'll notice above it, it says stat. So second function stat, we have two options. One var would mean univariate data, two var means bivariate data. So of course we want number two there. Number one would be if you just wanted things like mean, median, mode, uh, things like that, the five number summary. Okay, so we want two var stats. And this is where you make sure that the X or the explanatory variable matches up with L1, column one, and that the Y matches up with column two. So make sure it's set up like that and then press enter to get till you get to calculate. Okay, now that will bring up this whole list of statistics. So the first one tells you that you have 15 data points, a sample size of 15. There's the mean of X, the sample standard deviation of X, the population standard deviation of X, mean of Y, sample standard deviation of Y, population standard deviation of Y. This stuff we don't need to worry about. And then we get to these three. These are the important ones. Now, if you look at F there, oh, there we go. F says R equals 0 0.9586, if you round to four decimal places, okay? That is our correlation coefficient, R equals, R is the symbol for correlation coefficient. Now, A and B, which are associated with this capital D and E here, are our slope and our y-intercept. However, you might notice that on our syllabus, this is how we write our equation of a linear function, a straight line, with a being the y-intercept and b being the slope. Now, unfortunately, they're the wrong way round in our calculator here. 
And that's because there's no sort of standardized convention about how we write the equation of a straight line and what symbols we use. Okay, all over the world, they use different things. It's very strange, I don't know why. But obviously, wherever this calculator was manufactured, they have it the other way around. So you do have to remember to switch those two around. So this would be y equals, oops, bouncy, bouncy, 39.8. 8, 1 to two decimal places part plus 6.23 x okay and you can see the a and b are the other way around okay so don't forget that when you're doing this in an exam all right let me know if you have any questions by putting them in the comments below and good luck with your studies